Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a pixelated transition. I have two methods. The first one is going to look like this. And the second one is going to look like this. So, to start I have two clips from the mountains that look like this. I'm sorry, it's a little not really stable. Um, I can't... I'm not good at filming. Okay, so this is going to look better because like, the end was really bad. Uh, so the first one is going to be using a wipe. So I made a custom wipe for this. Um, and so you can just go here and then you have to, cho to choose it. So I'm going to put it in the description and then you have to add it in your directory. Um, so I made it. It's called pixels and then go to wipe and is it in the right direction? Yes. So you can just see this beautiful... So it changes pixel by pixel. The thing is, it's not random. It's going to be the same exact one every time. Um, and that looks pretty like square, you know. So I made another one that looks more like a, like a glitch, kind of. So I'm going to just use the same clips. Copy them over. And then I'm going to cut the second one just at the where the other one ends. And then I'm going to add some... Oh yeah, I'm going to add some grayscale on the first one, just so that we can really see the difference between the first one and the second one, since they both look like snowy mountains. Uh, and then I'm going to add, add a glitch effect, glitch or... Uh, I'm not sure you're supposed to say that. And I'm actually going to add a second one. And I'm also gonna ha gonna add a rotate and shear effect, and I'm actually gonna add a second one as well. So I have four of them. N then I'm gonna reorder them. Uh, I want. I mean, it doesn't really change anything between both of them. You just need to have them alternated. Um. Yes, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna action this because I think it might look better. I'm not even sure. Uh, so I'm gonna rotate it by 900 in this direction. So yeah, the thing about glitch or is that it makes a glitch weight. I'm gonna actually show you what it does because just I'll just keep one of them. And you can see it just like moves the blocks. But I'm gonna hide this one as well. Like it, it will just move like blocks that are horizontal. The thing is, I want it to move in both directions. So first thing I'm going to do is rotate it here, and then make it smaller because I want it to take the whole space. And since I am using 180p, the relation, like the ratio, is 51 uh, 56.25. It's better if I write after the. Working, yeah. And then I'm gonna recenter it. Okay, I'm just gonna hide this track for for now so I can see what I'm doing. So yeah, rotate and shear, then the glitch. And then I'm gonna re-rotate it in the other direction. Nine red, and then you can see it's small in the middle. So I'm gonna need it to be bigger and the ratio in this direction is 177.78 and center it again. By the way, these are just 9 over 16 and 16 over 9. Um, and now I have my two glitches that I can move around. And so yeah, you can see that like it moves in every direction. And you can also change the color and stuff, like whatever you want and change the intensity. Like, honestly, try things out and see what you like better. Like, that's nice, you know. So if I show the other one again, you can see it will go from one to the other. Um, but I do need to pre-render it, I think, so it looks better. I'm gonna also add a little sound effect, so that will make it sound more real as well. Uh, so let's pre-render it and see what it looks like. Okay. 
that's pretty nice, I think. Um, another thing you can add is also an overlay. Oh, wait, I need just the video. So this is a simple like overlay I downloaded, and it looks like it looks like a glitch. You know? So I'm sure you can find similar ones online. And it gets bigger here, so I'm just gonna have the bigger part here, and then screen to remove the dark part. You you use screen, and then I want it on video one, and then you can see it just stays on video one here. But I think it looks nice to have like it makes it even more glitchy. You could also not want to have this, and then add a composite and transform on in between the two tracks so that they are blended and like all of them like then this the the glitch transition will be added to both of them instead of this one added to this and this over so like both are nice i think and that kind of works i think like it's such a fast transition as well like this is kind of slow so that i can show you what it looks like but it's so fast um i think it looks really nice so I hope you like it and I'll be back maybe at the end of the week for another tutorial. Bye bye!